Hi, welcome everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how to do a factor analysis and its re relevant uh, calculations in Stata. For that, I have uploaded loaded one data set and the variable names are shown here. So I will start with, uh, first of all, the command is PCA means principal component analysis and I added eight variables. When you run this, it will show you the eigenvalue table and ideally, if eigenvalue is above one, you can select the number of indices so it means it is initially suggesting that there are three indices that can be made if i gen value one can be used as a reference and here you can see the cumulative values so first in if you make first index index it will cover 41 percent data if you make two indices it will make six cover six fifty seven percent data if you make three indices it will make cover 69 percent of data so this way you uh, but if you see the proportion, the major share is in this number one. It is 41% only, uh, a single one in this only. So this is showing that uh, uh, first uh, making one index might also be enough. But you can confirm it using the um, the scree plot. When you make this plot, it shows you that after one to two, the, the, it was steep, but then it became flatter. So it, in this, it shows that the first in this is uh, so is sufficient to explain the variables and then you can have the correlation values uh, the the partial correlations and partial covariances for the the variables with with each other and then you can have a KMO which gives you sufficiency it tells you that if the data is uh, adequate or not all the variables have KMO value above 0 0.6 and overall is also about 0 0.6 showing that it is sufficient you can also have loading here yeah, the correlations between individual variables and the indices so uh, this shows you how each variable are correlated with the index indices and then you can calculate residuals and then residual correlations and it they are very low and then you can have a uh, overall correlations uh, square multiple correlations of the variables so it is actually the R square of things. So this is an index and how each of the variables are related with that index. And then you can summarize. In summarize, it will give you, um, it will tell you the, the descriptive stat of the variables that you used in the PCA. You can also have a loading plot. When you make it, it will show you that if two components are selected, how the items are related. So uh, most of the variables are highly related with component one. And for component two, a few of them are positively related and a few of them are negatively related. And the component, uh, the, the, this variable is very low correlated with component two and even component one. And then you can rotate. Rotate is usually used if you are going to make two indices. If you are only selecting one index out of um, the data, then rotation will, uh, will will never matter. And then you can compare the rotation matrix. Okay, and then you can have a score plot. I have already shown you that um, score plot. So this is a um, scatter plot between two indices. If you make two indices and then predict variable name so if you make one want to make one variable just write the variable name it will create that variable as an index so this way you can do a um, factor analysis in stata hope you like this video see you again bye